why hello there friends it's your main man z and i am here to talk to you a little bit about star wars now it seems like this just came out fairly recently and uh if you weren't aware there's been a bit of controversy around a new book with star wars uh, specifically it, it it's uh, a whole concept from the star wars story group at lucasfilm about it's the high republic and the high republic is a I guess it's a graphic novel, comic book that's come out that, that that they're talking about now. And some new characters were just released. Very exciting stuff here, people. I mean, oh wait, not exciting? You mean bounding into comics, which is pretty pro Star Wars, is calling it an absolute embarrassment because its newest character is just a rock? Yes, apparently uh, it was introduced in the High Republic into the Dark by Claudia Gray. Yeah, there's there's a uh, a rock on a ship and it's doing things. As you can see in this image right here, we're looking at it, there's a navigator a co-pilot and a rock. In fact, let me go and what I can do is I can play this for you. We're going to take a look at this. Now, if I remember the narration correctly, they're talking a little bit about the new High Republic stuff here. And they're talking about the new co-pilot, or the new prototypical, he, he's supposed to be a Han Solo archetype, Leox Gaius, who, you know, in my opinion, would be better off serving Rudy Tooty Fresh and Fruities at an IHOP than being the pilot of a, a starship. But yes, he's so cool. They couldn't even come up with a name for the ship. They just call it the vessel. His vessel's called the vessel. And his co-pilot, she seems fine. But the navigator, yes, that's where we have a little bit of a problem. The navigator is a rock named Geode. I don't even understand what, what these people are doing. Why are they doing this? Why are they torturing us? I, I, I don't know. I, I can't explain it. Apparently, he's supposed to take out some Jedi and send them somewhere. Who knows? Here's the point, though. You, you, you're probably saying to yourself, Z, why are you so upset about this? Why do you have a problem with this? Here's, here's my issue is really, if you think about it, some of our, our, our best pop culture movies and, and things like that came from graphic novels. We talk about Watchmen. Some people don't like the movie, but I'm a big fan of it. And we talk about like The Crow, which is really kind of more my my area and and you get these these beautiful pieces of art you know i think the crow we can all unequivocally say it was a great performance great graphic novel and and that's the point is is these are the foundations of what we see coming later i uh, you know star wars had the original trilogy and then 20 years of legends which is perfectly fine Yet somehow now they had to erase all that and they're creating this new stuff and this new stuff is just devoid of any type of anything. It's just, it's crazy. What, you, you have, you're that lazy that you can't think of a, ro a rock is the best you can come up with and calling the ship. I, I know, you know, coming up with a name better than the Millennium Falcon is, is difficult, but you can't just go, it's the vessel. He's so cool, it's the vessel. There's nothing else to it. Come, come on, people. Let's get a little more original here. You know, and, and I got nothing against rock people. Rock people are great. I love Korg from, from uh, Dun, uh, Thor Ragnarok. And I, I love uh, Galaxy Quest. They had a little rock guy in that. And you're a big rock monster. Rock monsters are great. Let's bring in rock. Come on, it's just a rock, people. So, and my point is, is this is, they're laying out the future of what they want to do at Lucasfilm. This would probably become a live action series or a movie or something. Do you really, do we want to watch this? Do we care? This is how they come up with their material that they're going to use and push on us in the future. And it's just, it's killing Star Wars. What are they doing? I, I just don't get it. There's all the problems with the Mandalorian, but I felt that this was one that was worth ridicu ridiculing because the more we ridicule these things, the more we mock them, the more we don't put our dollars into this, the better off I think we'll all be Especially when you have a navigator, not a Lincoln navigator, just a regular old rock navigator. So that's Z's rant about this. Something I wanted to point out to you folks out there. And uh, if you want to be kept up to date 
on the nonsense going on in Lucasfilm and all of this ridiculousness and lack of any actual talent and, and just embarrassingness, then uh, please like and subscribe. Tune in the next one, and we'll catch you on the next one.